Have you ever observed that aluminum foil features two distinct sides? One highly reflective and the other with a matte appearance. If you've ever wrapped leftovers or covered a baking dish, you've likely questioned whether it matters which side faces outward. Is one side superior for cooking compared to the other? Or is this simply one of those peculiar manufacturing characteristics? Well, let's explore this and finally resolve the shiny versus dull discussion. Right here on Stories Behind Everything. Before we examine the shiny and matte mystery, let's take a brief journey through history. Aluminum foil as we recognize it today didn't exist until the early 1900s. Previously, people utilized tin foil, actual tin material. It functioned adequately for food wrapping, but left behind a metallic flavor that wasn't particularly pleasant. Enter aluminum, a metal that's lightweight, corrosion-resistant, and crucially, doesn't interfere with your food's taste. In 1910, a Swiss company called Dr. Lauber, Neher and CE, began manufacturing the first commercial aluminum foil. It rapidly became a household essential, utilized for everything from food preservation to insulation and even military radar countermeasures. Now, let's address the actual reason aluminum foil possesses two different finishes. It's entirely related to the manufacturing process. Aluminum foil begins as an enormous aluminum sheet that undergoes repeated rolling to become progressively thinner. Initially, it resembles a thick metal plate. As it passes through industrial rollers, it gradually flattens into the thin flexible material we know. However, here's the crucial detail. When the foil reaches its final ultra-thin stage, it becomes too fragile to be processed individually. To prevent tearing, manufacturers take two sheets and roll them together as a pair. The side that makes direct contact with the rollers receives a smooth, shiny finish. Meanwhile, the inner surfaces, where the two sheets press together, develop a dull, matte texture because they don't receive the same polishing effect. Once the foil achieves sufficient thinness, the two sheets are separated and wound onto separate rolls. And just like that, you get one shiny side and one matte side not due to any special coating or intentional design, but simply as a consequence of the manufacturing process. All right, but does this actually create a difference during cooking? If you've heard someone claim you should wrap food with the shiny side facing inward or outward for enhanced heat reflection, you're not alone. However, the reality is, it doesn't truly matter. Both sides of aluminum foil conduct heat identically. The difference in reflectivity is so insignificant that it has no genuine impact on cooking duration or food quality. Whether you're roasting potatoes or covering a casserole, the shiny and matte sides are essentially identical in performance. So proceed and use whichever side you prefer. It's all equivalent in the end. That being said, there's one exception. Non-stick foil. Some manufacturers produce aluminum foil with a non-stick coating applied to one side, typically the matte one. If you're using non-stick foil, then yes, it matters which side contacts the food. The matte side should face inward to prevent adhesion. But for regular foil, there's no difference whatsoever. Now that we've resolved the great aluminum foil debate, let's discuss some other interesting things you can accomplish with it. Need to sharpen dull scissors? Fold some aluminum foil and cut through it several times. Instant sharpness. Want to clean a rusty grill? Scrunch some foil into a ball and scrub away the grime. And if your Wi-Fi signal is weak, you can position a sheet of aluminum foil behind your router to help direct the signal where you need it most. Who knew something so simple could be so versatile? Believe it or not, Aluminum foil isn't merely a kitchen essential, it's also a space-age material. NASA and other space agencies utilize aluminum-based foils to protect spacecraft and astronauts from extreme temperatures. The reflective properties help deflect intense solar heat, while also retaining valuable heat when traveling through freezing deep space. 
The iconic golden foil visible on lunar landers and satellites is actually an aluminum-based material designed to shield against radiation and temperature fluctuations. Without this technology, many of our space missions wouldn't survive the harsh environment beyond Earth's atmosphere. So next time you use aluminum foil at home, just remember you're utilizing a material that's also helping astronauts explore the universe. While aluminum foil is incredibly useful, it does have an environmental footprint. Producing aluminum requires substantial energy, and mining bauxite, the primary ore used to create aluminum, can have significant ecological consequences. The positive news is that aluminum is 100% recyclable. In fact, recycling aluminum saves up to 95% of the energy needed to produce new aluminum from raw materials. Unfortunately, not all aluminum foil makes it into the recycling bin because it's often contaminated with food residue, and many recycling centers won't accept it. To ensure your used foil gets a second life, try rinsing off any leftover food before placing it in recycling. Better yet, reuse it when possible, whether for covering leftovers, insulating a window, or crafting DIY projects. Now you understand why aluminum foil has two distinct sides. It's not magic, and it's not a special feature. It's just a side effect of how it's manufactured. And when it comes to cooking, don't stress about which side is up. Unless you're using non-stick foil, it's all the same. Beyond the kitchen, aluminum foil has proven to be an incredibly versatile material used in industries ranging from space exploration to everyday life hacks. Whether it's reflecting heat, improving Wi-Fi signals, or even aiding scientific discoveries, this humble kitchen staple has a fascinating story behind it. Now go forth and wrap, roast, and experiment with aluminum foil like a professional. Thanks for watching. If you have suggestions for our upcoming video, feel free to share them in the comment section below. We'll make sure to give you proper recognition for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this exploration through Stories Behind Everything. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories discovered through the smallest details.